this is tricky to say, but welcome to the first, fourth lesson. Uh, fourth as in go forth or yeah, F-O-R-T-H. But uh, anyway, as you know, um, if you've seen my other courses, I like to start off lessons with just showing something interesting about, you know, related to the topic that we're covering. Uh, uh, since we're covering fourth, um, this is a really interesting article to read and it, it'll really inspire you if you, you know, if you want to be inspired about fourth or learn what's really cool about it, this is a great article. Um, if you just search in whatever search engine, Hackaday fourth, and look for the uh, result from 2017, uh, January 27th, fourth, the hacker's language. I just want to read you one line from this, uh, this post that's just interesting. Fourth is what you'd get if Python slept with assembly language. Uh, that is so true, and you'll see that as we go throughout this course. Um, it's got the simplicity of Python, where uh, you know it's, it's just very simple to easy to learn and understand. Like it's probably easier to, to learn than Python, in my opinion. Um, I guess we'll see as you you'll figure that out as we go, but. Um, but then it's also ha it's got the power, uh, the closeness to the metal of assembly language. So it's just a super cool language. Once you have uh, GeForce installed, you get into a uh, interpreter session, and you can compile GeForce or you can run it like c compiled C programs. You know. But uh, typic but what we're gonna do is at least for these lessons, the first couple is uh, use the GeForce interpreter, um, which is, I think that's the main way that you, know, you would use GeForce. And one thing that's nice about it, because you can actually uh, get results of parts of your program, you know, one line at a time uh, with the interpreter. It just interprets it, you know, right there instead of having to compile it. So, um, and it's, it's super fast. It's insanely fast. Um, so uh, the first thing, oh, so once you're in the, interpreter by typing g4 in the terminal. If you leave it, I just want to point this out uh, because, you know, if you do start putting a bunch of stuff in, you get like, you know, far down, things go pretty fast when you're, as you're going, and then you don't see the buy and you're like, wait, how did I, how do I get out of there? But um, yeah, it's just buy. B-Y-E. So. so fourth is a stack based language. And Basically, what that means is, uh, pardon my props here, but uh, you, you have a stack, you just have, you know, you have this thing that is, a, that is uh, the stack. So you set, you put stuff on the stack one at a time. And uh, so you have things that are on the bottom of the stack, things that are on the top of the stack. Everything that goes on the stack goes to the top. You can't put something in the middle of the stack. You know, it just ha it has to keep going right on stop on top. Then, uh, when you do a function, say you want to add two numbers, you run the add function. The add function you don't feed it variables or anything like that. Or you can use variables, but you don't uh, feed it um, parameters typically through like with C, you, you feed the parameters right into the function. Uh, with fourth, the parameters are just, it just uses whatever's on the stack, right? So you keep track of what's on the stack. Um, so the add function would add the top two values on the stack. It would take them off. And whatever the result of those two values are, it puts them back. It puts the result on the stack, on the top of the stack. So then if we wanted to add the next two top values, we just run the add function again. And then whatever the result is, it would put that on the top. So. Let's just add two numbers right now. So uh, we'll put a five on the top of the stack. Okay, oops, get into G4 first. Put a five on the stack. It says okay, so you can see what's on the stack by pressing dot S. If we just do dot, that actually, it'll print what's on the stack, but it also removes it from the stack. So now if you, we try it again, we get a stack underflow because there's nothing on the stack. So let's put the five on there and let's put a two on there. So if we look at the stack, the, the, uh, the uh, value farthest to the right, closest to the OK here, is the top of the stack. The value farthest to the left is on the bottom of the stack. The value in the uh, arrows here is, uh, that's how many items are on the stack. 
right now we have two items on the stack um, and this is our plus function right here just the plus sign that's going to add the top two values from the stack and then it's going to uh, take those values off the stack and put the sum of those two values back on the stack so now we have seven on the stack and we just have one value uh, we can actually put our five and two back on the stack with that seven still on there so now there's three if we do our plus we should have two sevens on the stack now because it only that add that plus function only does anything with the top two values so now we have seven and seven um, now plus only does the top two values and same with minus same with divide and same with multiply but there are words they're called in fourth which are just basic they're functions uh, any other programming language they call them functions and fourth they're just called words there are words and you can create your own words that will use more than the top two values they might use the top 10 values from the stack so um, they don't always use the top two and sometimes they might put multiple values back on the stack instead of just one um, like the plus does so in fourth uh, everything you put in every expression or statement uh, needs to be separated by any kind of white space pretty much so uh, with Python you know uh, Python whenever you're um, writing a function you use um, carriage returns and like tabs and stuff to te to tell the uh, interpreter what what's going on fourth it's a lot simpler than that uh, C C based languages typically you typically put a semicolon at the end of statements uh, to you know to tell it that that's the end of the statement fourth anytime it sees white space whether that's a space or a carriage return uh, it sees that as the end of the statement and you know the next value it see it, it's the beginning of the next statement so it's super simple uh, we can do five two plus like that and that'll put seven on top of the stack okay or we can do five space two space plus um, and that should put another seven on top of the stack and then we can, I mean you can do it how it, well, you can mix and match them too so we can do like five two plus puts another seven so and then uh, let's just remove all those values so now our stack should be empty okay so let's look at an example of uh, just a little bit more complicated math equation and just to show how kind of elegant and, and like intuitive is at least to me uh, fourth can be so now this this notation right here with the parentheses and everything that's probably more intuitive to most people at first just because that's what we learn in math class we, we learn uh, you know um, please excuse my dear aunt Sally which is parentheses uh, you know whatever's in parentheses gets taken care of first and then uh, parentheses and then multiplication division addition subtraction I can't remember what the E is right now off the top of my head but anyway uh, you don't even need parentheses with doing this kind of equation in fourth so let's look at that equation uh, here's how here's one way we could do that in fourth and it looks crazy right now it's like wait what that's the same thing as but if you think about it so this was our equation Oops. so uh, if we're doing using standard notation you know what, what's in the parentheses goes first so 5 plus 2 goes first so 7 right so let's just put that so now we have 7 times 10 that equals 70 so our ending value should be 70 and with this uh, whatever's on the stack right now should be our final value right because we we put all that on the stack and then we did our functions let's see what our value is 70 so here's how that works and it fourth is super simple and easy to reason through because of the stack and or at least partly because of the stack um, so it's just it's really easy to reason through it uh, any programs in fourth uh, so first we put 10 on the stack right so stack just has a 10 on it 
Oh no, it has. Let's get rid of that 70 first. All right, so the stack's empty. All right, then we put 10 on the stack. All right, and then we put two on the stack. And then we put five on the stack. So stack has three separate values on it, 10, two, and five. And then we do the add function, which adds the top two values on the stack and puts their sum on the stack and removes them. So, so plus basically replaces the two and the five on the top of the stack with a seven. <clears throat> so then we have 10 and seven on the stack. And so all this is done. And then we just have the multiply, which multiplies the top two values on the stack, which are seven and 10. And uh, with that, we get 70. Another way you could do that is, and this way kind of might be more intuitive to a lot of people, but at least it is to me, I think. So that uh, that's the same equation. Uh, and you, we can reason through that too. Um, but, uh, five and two go on the stack. Then we add those two together. So seven is on the stack. Then we put 10 on the stack. Seven and 10 are on the stack. And then the seven and 10 get multiplied together, which equals 70. And let's get rid of those. One more thing about the syntax with fourth is uh, the spacing. Not only does you know any white space shows that the statement is at its end. If there's not white space, then it then uh, the compile the interpreter doesn't think it's at the end. So. Uh, for example, if we have two seven plus, uh, you know, at first glance, or if you did a typo or something, you might think, okay, put two on stack, put seven on stack, and then add the two together and get nine. But instead we get an error, undefined word. And that's because seven plus has no space in it. So fourth looks at two things. Uh, is, the, is the value a number? And, uh, well, seven plus, no, that's not a number because there's a, a, a symbol in there. And then if it's not a number, it looks to see if it's in the dictionary defined as a function or a word. And uh, if it doesn't see that, which we don't have any words or functions named seven plus right now, we could create one, but we don't have any right now. Uh, since it doesn't see anything, it says undefined word, and it just throws that error. So uh, that uh, that gives you a pretty good idea of how the stack works, and that's a big part of fourth. Once you know that, um, you know, which is very simple, right? Then you know a big chunk of fourth. Uh, the next thing we'll look at is words, um, which I've been kind of using the words function and word interchangeably because a word is just a function. It's just in fourth they call it a word. Um, so we're going to look more into words in the next video. So super exciting, super simple. This language is amazing. Uh, you, I don't know. I like it. So if you like it, stick around. Thanks for watching. Peace out.